Hi Judgers! Welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video, we're asked to find the standard equation of the circle with center at negative 3, positive 2, and tangent to the line 2x minus 3y is equal to 1. So before we discuss this one, let us first discuss the distance between a point and a line. For example, this is our point and that is a center. And we have here another point. Okay, and from that point, that is the point of tangency, and this is the line. Okay, therefore, from this one up to this one, that is perpendicular. Okay, if that is perpendicular, we have here a distance. So, how do we solve for this distance if we are given an equation of the line and we are given a center? And that distance is also equal to the radius. Okay, remember, if we are given a center and we are given an equation of the tangent line, which is this one, all we have to do is to remember our formula that D is equal to AX1 plus BY1 plus C all over positive negative square root of A squared plus B squared. Okay, this A, B, and C are the coefficients of the equation of the line. While X1 and Y1 are the coordinates of our center. Okay, example, we are given the center and that the center is located at negative 3 and positive 2. And that it is tangent to a line. So the equation of a line is 2X minus 3Y is equal to 1. It is not yet in general form, therefore all we have to do is to transpose 1 to the other side and it becomes 2x minus 3y transpose positive 1 to the other side, it becomes negative 1 is equal to 0. It now becomes a, b, and c. Okay, so we now have a, b, and c. All we have to do is to substitute this a, b, and c into our formula for distance between a point and a line. Okay. Therefore, D, or sabihin natin R, let's say R, is equal to AX1 plus BY1 plus C all over plus minus square root of A squared plus B squared. So, you will ask me, so how do we use plus or minus? in the denominator. Remember that we could just erase this one. Why? Because it will only depend on the sign. If the value that we will be getting for R is negative, then get its absolute value and it becomes positive because radius is a distance and all distances are positive. Okay, so in case that we got here a negative value, all you have to do is to get its absolute value to become positive. So let us now get A, B, and C. And that is equal to what is our A? Our A is 2. What is our X1? Our X1 is the coordinate of the center which is negative 3. Plus, what is our B? Our B is negative 3. What is our Y? Our Y is positive 2. Plus, what is our C? That is negative 1. All over the square root of a squared plus B squared. A squared, that is 2 squared. B squared, that is negative 3 squared. So let us now try to simplify. 2 times negative 3, it becomes negative 6. Negative 3 times 2, that is, what is negative 3 times 2? That is also negative 6. Plus negative 1, minus 1. All over, square root of 2 squared is 4, negative 3 squared is 9. So that is 4 plus 9. So this is now equal to negative 6 plus negative 6, that is negative 12. Negative 12 minus 1, we have negative 13. Over, square root of 4 plus 9. So that is square root of 4 plus 9, square root of 13. Since we have a negative value, all we have to do is to get its absolute value. And we will be having 
13 over square root of 13. And it is not yet um, rationalized. Therefore, we need to rationalize this one and multiply this to square root of 13 over square root of 13. And we will be having 13 square root of 13 over square root of 13 times square root of 13. That is 13. Cancel 13. 13 over square root of 13 times. This is how we rationalize square root of 13 over square root of 13 is now equal to 13 times square root of 13. That is 13 square root of 13 over square root of 13 times square root of 13 is just 13. Cancel 13. Therefore, we now have square root of 13. Therefore, what is the square root of 13? This square root of 13 is our radius. Okay. So, if that is our radius, we are given the center. So let us write now the standard equation. That is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. x minus h, that is plus 3 quantity squared plus y minus k, which is y minus 2 quantity squared is equal to square root of 13 squared. Simplifying, x plus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared is now equal to square root of 13 squared is just 13. Therefore, this is now the standard equation of a circle having a center located at negative 3, positive 2, and tangent to the line 2x minus 3y is equal to 1. Always remember that if you are given a center and a tangent line, all you have to do to get the radius is to use the formula for the distance between a point and a line. And that is AX1 plus BY1 plus C all over positive, ne positive negative square root of A squared plus B squared.